Before this video starts, I would just like to apologise uh, for any clipping in the audio. Um, it's a case of not checking your settings before you start to record, and then only realising in the end. So, um, hopefully this doesn't impact too much on uh, your listening. Installing NVIDIA drivers in FreeBSD 12. FreeBSD Reviews, Tutorials and Gaming This is a recommended installation method, installing from pre-built packages. Right. First, let's, uh, let's make this a bit bigger so we can all see. I'm going to search for some NVIDIA packages and see what it brings up. And uh, you can see that there's the three available. There's 340, 304 and 390. Uh, the 340 and the 304, they are regarded as legacy drivers for older cards. And the 390 is the latest that's in the uh, package repository. It's not the latest available from NVIDIA, uh, but that's for a different video. To install, make sure that you've got root privilege and PKG install NVIDIA driver. As you can see on screen, choose the one that you require. Then make sure in your rc.conf you have KLD underscore list Linux, NVIDIA and NVIDIA mode set. That's for your latest drivers. And for your older legacy drivers, use KLD underscore list Linux NVIDIA. You don't need the mode set. The Linux module needs to be loaded because the pre-built packages have Linux as an option that's enabled. If you were to build the packages yourself from ports, you can disable that feature. You can restart the system to load in the NVIDIA drivers or you can load them in now by KLD load NVIDIA mode set or for legacy drivers KLD load NVIDIA but make sure you put KLD load Linux before doing this you shouldn't need an xorg.com file as they haven't been needed for a while but if you do then we'll cover that in another video I have added to the bootloader.com file a entry which basically repeats what we've done in the rc.conf but in a slightly different format. This is really for my own peace of mind and a fallback to know that if anything goes wrong or I've got it wrong, which is probably more than often than not, uh, loading up the NVIDIA drivers in the rc.conf then they'll get loaded up in the bootloader anyway. And besides it won't hurt putting them in. So you can either put them in or you can leave them out. And that's the, uh, the reason for this is because I've chopped and changed uh, over the time for the different uh, NVIDIA drivers. I've gone with the pre-built packages, then I've installed them from port. And then lately I'm using 418 from the NVIDIA site itself. So I kind of, I forgot w where and when and different versions. So just for my own peace of mind, I've got two entries which will kind of cover my base really. You don't have to put this in, and it, uh, but it won't hurt if you do. Hopefully this helped, and if there are any more questions, then please leave them in the comments section down below. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.